Today we're talking about the Zongyi Optics 25mm T1. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson, and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Also, um, I'm recording this on Saturday night, and it's the Royal Rumble tonight, and uh, so we may have to go fast. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the review. Now I do wanna mention that Zongyi Optics was kind enough to let me borrow this lens and test it out, but no money exchange hands, and they're not requesting I say anything specifically, and so you are gonna get my full and honest opinion. As always, we're gonna talk about and break down this lens by image quality, build quality, my overall thoughts, slash who I think could be useful for, and let's start with image quality. We are going to address image quality in a couple different areas. One is going to be low light performance now the low light performance it's a t1 you should not be surprised it's going to perform very well in low light the only micro four thirds camera i have right now is the original pocket cinema camera and if you're not familiar that's a super 16 sensor that means it's a 2.88 crop and with a low light performance of this lens i was able to get some decent low light shots with the og pocket camera and so the overall low light performance of this lens being t1 is really nice to have now that goes into the next portion because what's a t T1 lens if it's not sharp. I do feel like this lens is really sharp at T1. Now, if you've been on the channel, I don't typically stop down lenses. Like if it's sharp at T1, I'm gonna keep it at T1 the entire time if I can. So with that being said, the overall sharpness of this lens, especially at T1, was really nice. Now with that in mind, let's talk about chromatic aberration. Now the presence of chromatic aberration is never a surprise for me with these a little bit more inexpensive lenses. Now with that being said, I did feel like that the chromatic aberration was limited, but there is some. But with that being said, I will say it's very minimal. Zongyi Optics says there's limited focus breathing or low focus breathing, and I would say that's very accurate. In some shots, I noticed a little bit of focus breathing. In others, I noticed none at all or barely any. So I would say as far as focus breathing, it's pretty well controlled. And again, that's something that's really impressive about these more inexpensive lenses. I will say the flaring from this lens is really pleasing. You're going to get a little bit of character with it. It's not controlled like a Sigma lens. It is more along the lines of like a vintage style flaring where you're going to get a little bit more out of control with it but me personally i've said it on the channel before i like that type of flaring and so that's something you will expect from this lens as well now something else that was kind of like meh was bokeh bokeh on this lens was all right i felt like sometimes it was completely spherical and round and other times i felt like it was more cat eye and not really round so really it's not something like completely impressive but i'll be honest with all the other things that are really impressive about this lens i can sacrifice some like super round spherical bokeh. You gotta know where to pick your battles. But I really am impressed with the overall performance of this lens. What are you doing? This is weird. I'm showing everybody what fashion looks like. Probably can't see it. This thing is okay. Well, yep, there you go. There, get it, get it. Let's go into build quality. Right off the bat, I just love the design of this lens. It very much reminds me of like a Cook style lens. It's got the black housing with like the yellow text. It's very kind of Cook-esque. And so that's really appealing about this lens. Overall, the body is very sturdy. It does have around 150 degree focus throw. So not a super long focus throw, long enough that you can get a little bit more precision, but not too long to where if you're filming by yourself, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to pull or rack focus. Being that this is a cine lens, the aperture ring is going to be declicked, and both rings have the proper amount of resistance or fluidity. Is that a word? I think that's a word. We'll go with it. But overall, I felt like the experience with the aperture ring and focusing ring were very nice. Now, something personally I wasn't a huge fan of with the build is it does have a 77 millimeter filter thread, which is more personal because I use 82 millimeter filters, but I know a ton of people that prefer 77 millimeters and carry 77 millimeter filters. And so by all means, that's more of a personal thing. But again, I've said it before, this is my video. I get to tell all the cons that I want. guys. Fashion, take some fashion tips. Take some fashion notes. You gotta wear red sweatpants with a green shirt, Christmas. Green shirt. With your socks hanging out. You also gotta pay your help.
And so with that being said, let's talk about my overall thoughts and who I might recommend this lens to. I should say, and I don't think I said it before, these are not full frame lenses. The 17, the 25, and the 35 are all cropped lenses. So they won't display a full image on full frame cameras. But that being said, I do believe at $400 per lens, maybe give or take, depending on where you find these, these are great value lenses. And honestly, when it comes to a set of cinema lenses, these are the ones that I'm recommending. Recommending. The only reason I may recommend other brands is because currently there's only a 17, a 25, and a 35. And so if somebody's trying to get a full set, I may recommend something else. But for what these are, I absolutely hands down recommend these for filmmakers that are on a budget. If you do need a good low budget, low light performing lens, this one is a no brainer. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider Consider subscribing. If you do have any more questions about this lens, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you all for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Nope. Let's just try that again. All right, y'all, wash your hands. We're all grown ups here. Wash your damn hands. Peace. Go. Bigger. <laughs> I can't <laughs> smile after. And then walk hard right. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Almost done, little baby. <laughs> go. <laughs> Alright, go. Hard right. <laughs>